Well, this act is going to be devastating. 24 million Americans are going to lose health insurance because of this act, 2.7 million of them living in New York State. It's going to be a massive budget buster for the state of New York. Devastating impacts to healthcare access and real life um, implications for thousands, um, in fact, millions of our fellow citizens. So the Collins Amendment is really a war on New York, and unfortunately, it's being waged by two Republican members of our own congressional delegation. It actually targets New York, and only New York, with a $2.3 billion cut. That $2.3 billion, on top of the other cuts already contained in this act, are making this probably the biggest step back in healthcare access in New York's history. As a result of this, we are really seeing not only the 7 million people who rely on Medicaid and the other programs created under the Affordable Care Act, their health care access threatened, but actually the health care system itself in New York State that serves 19.5 million New Yorkers, all of us as New Yorkers, our health care system is now at risk because of that particular action that was taken by those two members of our own congressional delegation. The best thing to do is call your members of Congress. Send a message that Ryan's aggressive, uh, radical, conservative agenda is not what we need in New York. The people who are elected by you, the citizens of New York, to represent you in Congress should be representing your interests. But unfortunately, those who vote for this act, those who vote for this amendment, are not in fact doing that. They're voting against your interests and you need to make your voice heard and call your representatives in Congress to tell them what you think about this horrific piece of legislation.